Hello, hello, I'm Coco Sugar Cosplay and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through how I made my very own set of wings for my Black Fay Day outfit. I was so excited to bring my own fairy character to life for Black Fay Day. I knew that I had to have the perfect set of wings to go with my look. I wanted my wings to be a little more on the realistic side than on the fantasy side. I was heavily inspired by the work of artists just as strange as I am. Please go and check out their work, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think that's enough intro for now, so let's get started. Okay, so to start off, I will be sketching out the general shape, size, and placement of the wings onto some scrap paper. I'm using a reference photo here, uh, is off camera, but I'm using a photo of cicada wings that I found online as my inspiration. Once your sketch is done, go over your lines with a Sharpie marker or similar type of ink pen. The idea is that you want to be able to see your lines clearly when you get to the next phase. In this next step, you'll trace over the lines you created onto some thin acrylic sheets. Here, I'm using a sheet that's 0.03 inches thick. This means it'll hold its shape, but it'll still remain slightly flexible. I'm using a Sharpie again here to trace over my lines, but any sort of alcohol ink marker will do. As you trace over the lines, just make sure you're not going to smudge over them with your hands. This is especially difficult for me as I am left-handed, but I did my best. Now 
As you trace onto your acrylic, you'll want to make sure that you're adding the lines to both sides. You can see here an example of one version that has two sides applied and one version that has one. The side with two is slightly darker. Once you're done with your line work, it's time to move on to paint. I'm starting off with a base layer of PlatFX High Voltage Glitter. This one has a slightly bronze cast, which will work with the orange themes in my outfit. As you lay down the layer, make sure that you're spreading it on thin and in the directions that the wings would go. Try to avoid any globs of paint as they'll stand out once it dries. After the glitter layer, next up is a combo layer featuring folk art brush metal, plat effects armor metallic in red, and folk art dragonfly glaze. I mixed all three together to make a kind of bronzy reddish shade that I used to enhance the shadows on the wings. Next, it's time to amp up the glitter with Folk Art's Glitterific paint. The glitter that's in this paint is really large, iridescent flakes. They add a really nice touch to the wings and it's a lot of fun to work with. So definitely pick yourself up a bottle if you can. And I really mean a bottle because I almost used the entire bottle on this project. Definitely lots of glitter. And the layers just keep coming. Next up is a layer of Folk Arts Treasure Gold. I'm thinning it out a bit with water, but I'm also using it to enhance the shadows and just add a bit of metallic shine. Also, just a note, I'm using these colors to complement my outfit and my vision, but if you're doing this for yourself, you can use whatever colors you want. Go wild. Once all of your glitter layers are complete and have had a chance to dry, you're going to add some Mod Podge Dimensional Magic on top. This is a new product for me. Um, but what it actually is, is a bit of a cross between Mod Podge and puff paint. It is a dimensional version of Mod Podge that dries nice and clear and seals over your pieces, almost like a resin would. Here, I'm tracing over the different segments inside the wings. This gives the wings a really cool 3D appearance and further adds to the overall realistic vibe. Honestly, this was a great product and I had a lot of fun using it. My only complaint would be that it didn't come in large enough bottles. I ended up using four for this project. So definitely buy more than you think you're gonna need.
Once you're satisfied with the layers, it's time to move on to sealing it and adding an iridescent layer of dragonfly glaze. This is gonna protect what you have on underneath and prep you for the next step, which will be adding the iridescent cling film. I picked up this roll from my local craft store. It's pretty thin, but reflects a lot of light. Before the dragonfly glaze dries, lay down carefully the layer of cling film or cellophane, whatever you want to call it, onto your wings. Start in the middle and then press outward, making sure to remove any air bubbles you can see best you can. Once they're in there, they're kind of trapped for good, so this is your chance to work them all out. Just move slowly through it. You have plenty of time before the glaze dries. You can already start to see how shiny these wings really are. I wish the camera did it justice, but it is very sparkly. After you've added your layer of film, you'll want to flip each piece over to the other side. We're basically going to be repeating the same steps again on the back, starting off by retracing out the border lines. They got a little bit faded with the film on top, and this will just make them stand out further. Once the lines are redrawn, just keep adding the same glitter layers in the order that you had on the other side. Keep the same methodology as far as keeping your strokes thin and making sure that all of the lines are going in the direction that the wings are flowing. After you have all of your layers applied and they've had a chance to dry, you can marvel at the sparkly goodness a little, and then you can move on to the assembly step. To assemble the frame for our wings, I'll be using some medium gauge aluminum wire. The key is that you want it to be somewhat bendable so that you can get it into the shape it needs to be but it also needs to be strong so that it can support the weight of the wings. Just play around with it until you have the general curve you need. I'm making two sets of wire for each pair of wings. This will make sure that the wings are doubly supported and that they don't droop from the weight. To adhere the wire to the wings, I'm using every crafter's favorite tool, the hot glue gun. In this case, you'll want to put a significant amount of glue onto the wings and then gently and carefully press the wire into place. I'm using a silicone pad here to give myself a little extra leverage and to make sure that I don't burn my fingers any more than I already have. Once the first wire is in place, I follow that up with a bit of reinforcement from a second wire. This is just again to ensure that the wings stay where they should and are able to be held up and aren't drooping from the weight. After the glue has had a chance to cool down, I'm covering up the glue with a Sharpie again that matches the color of the veins in my wings. 
This just helps to blend the wire into the wings more so it doesn't stand out and looks a bit more natural. Lastly, to wrap things up, uh, we're going to use a bit of electrical tape to secure the end of the wire frame. I'm using black tape here because I couldn't really get my hands on brown tape, but the black works just as well. Ultimately, you want something that's not going to show through your outfit and won't look out of place. Once you're done, all you have to do is connect the top and bottom wings together and secure again with more electrical tape. And then you can sit back, relax, and marvel at your beautiful creation. for the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my process and hopefully it inspires you to make your very own set of wings. If you do, please make sure to tag me on social media. I'd love to see what you create. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.